Civil Engineering Academy, helping you in your journey to pass the PE. All right, welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. Today we're solving a problem from construction. It says a hoisting device use, uses the cable system shown. If the load of P equals 5 tons, so this load P is 5 tons, tons the load in pounds at point B is most nearly what? So we're asked to solve this unknown load here. Um, okay, so this is a statics problem, and the Civil Engineering Reference Manual does go over statics problems, so that's a good resource for you. But all I'm going to do is start at point C and work my way back to point B. I start at point C because I know we know what load P is. And I know that if I do um, the sum of the forces in the x and the y direction, I'll get two equations with two unknowns. If I started at point B, I, I don't know anything. So I wouldn't be able to solve there. So that, that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm also, with the information given, I'm noticing that they're giving slopes. So I'm going to solve for the hypotenuse, hypotenuse of each of these. So 1 squared plus 1 squared. Take the square root of that. That gives me what? That's 1.414. Uh, 3 squared plus 1 squared. Square root of that. What does that give me? That gives me 3.16. And 1 squared plus 2 squared. Square root of that. Gives me 2.24. That's going to help me when I take the sum of the forces in the x and y direction. I'm going to use the information they give me instead of solving for the angle here and using sines and cosines to get uh, some of the forces. So if I were to draw out point C, let's just do that right here. We got here CD, CD, and then B goes off, something like that. So, and then we got this force P, which equals five tons. Okay, so I just do this diagram here for us. So let's go ahead and take some of the forces in the x direction. And that's going to give me force of CD times 1. It's the x component over the hypotenuse. 2.24 minus force of BC times 3 over 3.16 and that equals 0. So 3 is the x component times 3.16 over 3.16. Okay, so some of the forces in the y direction and you're going to get minus 5, which is the load which was given, um, plus force of BC times 1 over 3.16 plus force of CD times 2 over 2.24 equals 0. So now you have two equations. We have two unknowns, force of CD and force of BC. I want to find out what force of BC is. So I'm going to solve for this first equation, what force of CD is. So force of CD is going to equal, bring force of BC to the other side. So that's force of BC times 3 over 3.16. And then uh, you're going to be multiplying all that by the 2.24. Bring that this to the other side. Okay, so that gives you force of CD, and I get 2.127. Now all you need to do is plug this into here, and we'll solve for BC. So that's minus 5 plus force of BC times 1 over 3.16 plus 2.127 force of BC times 0 0.894. I just solve for that. 
Okay, that um, get, set that equal to zero. And what do you get? You get a force of BC equal to BC equal to 2.25 tons. Okay, so now that we know force of BC, we can work our way back. And I'll draw this over here. So here's point B. Here's C. A shoots up like this. And you've got this guy, what we're solving for. So now we're going to do the same thing over here. So we'll just take some of the forces in the x direction, which is 3 over 3.16. Again, that's the x component divided by the hypotenuse, all times by the 2.25, because we know what force of BC is. We just solve for that. So that's times 2.25 minus. 1 over 1.414, so 1 over the botanist times force of AB, and you solve for force of AB, and you get 3.02 tons. Just take the sum of the forces in the y direction, and we'll get our get our answer. I'll just call this negative B, this and this unknown. So negative B plus 3.02 times 1 over 1.414 minus 2.25 times 1 over 3.16 that gives me 1.42 tons so converting this there's 2,000 pounds in a ton and you're gonna get 2840 pounds Oops, can't spell here. Pounds. That is answer C. So this was a pretty good statics problem. Um, it can get confusing, I guess, not knowing where to start. But once you get going, uh, you can wind yourself back to get the answer. So I hope this helped you out. Uh, head to civilengineeringacademy.com for more tips and tricks related to the PE exam. Thanks, bye.